हाय एवरीबडी आई एम डॉक्टर पुनीत गर्ग आई एम वैस्कुलर इंटरवेंशन रेडियोलॉजिस्ट वर्किंग एट सफदरजंग हॉस्पिटल सो टुडे आई एल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट अ प्रोडक्ट विच इज़ अ वेरी गुड एंड यूजफुल प्रोडक्ट फॉर हीमोस्टैसिस एज वी नो दैट इन वैस्कुलर प्रोसीजर्स वी डू फीमोरल पंक्चर्स डे इन एंड डे आउट एंड वी नीड सम गुड रोबस प्रोडक्ट to uh, do the hemostasis because the manual compression is not very uh, it's not uh, it's a lengthy procedure and sometimes patient lands up in a hematoma formation and pseudo aneurysm formation so uh, today i'll be talking about this kytosan uh, it's uh, exostat it's uh, basically kytosan is a polysaccharide which is derived from shellfish and uh, this product that we are using is v55 it's 5 by 5 cm and 1 cm thickness of sponge uh, this kytosan uh, now i will be demonstrating that uh, after removal of the sheath when uh, when some blood comes out of the puncture site wound we apply this kytosan sponge and uh, with the help of a gauze piece we apply uh, pressure from our uh, fingertips using both hands so basically what we do is we uh, uh, we do elevated pressure over the puncture site so one hand should be over the puncture site wound and another hand uh, proximally where we block the blood supply so when the blood which oozes out from the wound it comes in contact with the kytosan so the basic mechanism is that blood has got components which are negatively charged and kytosan is positively charged so uh, it has got two mechanisms first it acts as mechanical barrier and then uh, charge based addition takes place where the plasma gets absorbed in the kytosan sponge and the the negatively charged blood components get adhered to the kytosan sponge and it activates the clotting mechanism the complement pathway and helps in fibrin formation so the amount of time that we were taking in manual compression for like around 15 or 20 minutes it gets reduced to 3 to 4 minutes so here this is the procedure that i am demonstrating here i am applying the pressure using both hands with the help of fingertips and uh, after maybe 4 minutes uh, we will see that there is no oozing of blood and we don't have to remove the this sponge from the puncture site wound it has it can be left in situ for 24 hours and later on the next day with the help of normal saline it can be easily taken off and uh, it ensures good hemostasis so this is all about the procedure thanks very much for listening